Good morning, everyone. Today, you're with Santa Says on Try It or Toss It with, as usual, my good buddy here, my furry pal, uh, Mr. Mr., if that's correct, Cupcake. He's a beautiful boy, and Santa loves him very much. He's mostly a good boy, I should say. Anyway, on uh, Try It or Toss It, as you know, we do basically a review of different things. Right now, we're just doing reviews of coffee, and we do some energy drink reviews too. We'll probably get to some other things eventually, but for now, that's what we're doing. Uh, Santa tries to drop the new coffee video reviews on Tuesday and the energy drink reviews on Thursday, but that doesn't always happen. So please keep your eye out for them on those days. But just, you know, Santa, even though he's semi-retired down here in Florida and he just zooms with the elves up north in the North Pole, uh, still has a busy life doing just cool things that he likes. And, uh, you know, Ms. Claus likes to go out uh, a lot and chill uh, and do things you know out like shop oh surprise right <laughs> or things like that so this santa loves her very much and likes to make her happy so we do those things sometimes too uh anyway if you haven't seen the show before real quick i'll, I'll let you know what we're going to review first we're going to be reviewing today new england coffee butter pecan flavor butter pecan flavor it's like, uh, you know, a very popular butter pecan ice cream. Anyway, that's what we're going to be reviewing today. Put that back over there. Oh, what was that about? A little shaky shake? You good? Okay. So we're going to review that today. And we did a New England coffee, um, maybe, I don't know, six weeks ago or something like that. We did a blueberry cobbler. I actually really enjoyed that flavor. And I, I didn't toss it. At all now if you haven't seen the show before just real quick how it works is our reviews are kind of like a five star review but instead of giving stars which are boring because everybody does that we do something a little funner here on uh, try it or toss it with the uh, Santa says moi period what we do is we give it a toss if we hate it we don't like it at all we give it a full toss if we don't really like it but it's got maybe some kind of redeeming quality we give it a three-quarter toss if it's good but not amazing we give it a half toss if it is um i guess you'd say pretty good but there's just maybe something we don't appreciate about it we give it a quarter toss and if we really enjoy it we don't give it a thumbs up, even though I'm doing that right now. We just don't toss it. We keep it. It's good. Uh, last time, the New England coffee, uh, blueberry cobbler, we really liked. So we didn't toss it. It was smooth. You could taste the blueberry. Uh, it, it was just left a very nice impression over my tongue. Again, this is just my opinion. Uh, if you try these coffees, um, you course may or may not like them and obviously if you don't like blueberry you probably won't get the blueberry coffee and if you don't like butter to pecan like we're trying today you're not going to get that either but you know uh everybody has their own taste to some degree or another um but if you're like me i like my coffee if it has a flavor i want to taste that flavor i want it to be forward enough that when it goes over my tongue anyway i go oh that's in there uh, i think a lot of times with flavored coffee that's not necessarily true I drink the coffee black, so I give you the complete, straightforward breakdown. Now, Ms. Claus does like a little bit of cream in her. So that's an understatement, actually. She likes a lot of cream. And she says when she adds cream, sometimes that enhances the flavor. It kind of depends. Uh, but I'll leave that up to you folks to decide on that. Um, so a lot of my coffees that are flavored kind of get nicked for that. If they're going to tell me a flavor, I want to know that that's in there. And the blueberry, I noticed it was great. So, um, anyway, today is butter pecan. And now we'll get started with a little review. Um, real quick, though, 
this uh, coffee is 100% Arabica coffee and I brewed it in an automatic drip coffee maker so that's how I brew it it's just simple for as Santa says and that's how I do it and he's hot out here it's a little warm out here today in uh, South Florida where I'm hanging out and chilling Delray Beach specifically love this town it's great uh, anyway I have my little shell cup here today uh, I have this one a lot it's a nice size little probably actually more than a cup of coffee but um, you're trying to get away you're not trying to get away are you no, no kiss <gasps> grumpy boy <laughs> he's stubborn like that sometimes when he thinks you're leaving and you have to leave him home and you try to kiss him he literally turns his head he's like mm. And you try to kiss him on the other side, he turns his head the other way. He's a funny character like that. But anyway, let's go ahead and smell the coffee. Okay, I'm definitely getting the butter pecan scent out of the coffee. So that's a good start. Because sometimes you just take a sniff and you're like, well, you're telling me that's in there, but I don't see it. But this one, you can definitely smell it. Good start, like that good to go on that one so let's give it a sip now okay I got my first little hit of it I'm gonna do a second little hit of it because I like to give a uh, you know, get a full experience of it so it's maybe something I missed the first time Mm. Okay, so my opinion of it is this. You definitely do get the butter pecan flavor. So that's a good start to it. Uh, you know, before I started doing reviews, I've had several different flavors of doing coffee, and generally they're pretty good. The, um, the blueberry was just amazing. This one's, I'm going to say, is very good. But for some reason, in this particular flavor, it's not as smooth as the blueberry. It's not really uh, like a, a bad flavor over my tongue at all. But it doesn't have that smoothness. Smooth, 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 smooth. I can't speak correctly today. Smoothness. Got that out properly this time. That the blueberry did. It's very close, but it's missing that. So, based on that information, I'm going to give this a quarter toss. Uh, hit my arm again, you know, I'm famous for it. Uh, I got my Rush shirt a little bit. Yes, again, I am wearing my Rush shirt. I love Rush. I don't care how many times I wear this shirt on video. Uh, if you like good rock and roll, um, they are one of the best bands ever. And you should definitely check them out. Uh, my favorite album, if you're interested, is uh, what? It's called Moving Pictures. It's from the 80s, but great album. Uh, my second favorite album is Clockwork Orange, which was their last album. It was a three-man band, by the way, and their drummer passed away not all that long ago, so they won't be putting anything new out. Uh, sad. He was a pretty young guy. Uh, but uh, just an amazing band. Uh, I actually, I love all their albums. It's just, you know, of course I have favorites. Their first three are not my favorites. Um, they have a little Zeppelin feel to them in those ones, which I like Zeppelin, but they sort of got their own sound after that. So everything after that I really love. Love those three, uh, but love everything after that way more as a whole. So side commentary on Rush. I can't help it. I just love them and I love talking about them. So anyway, if you like my video today, my review with, with this Butter Pecan New England coffee, then please subscribe to my channel. Like it, share it. I'd appreciate that. Thank you so much today for spending time with me. I appreciate that you took that time out of your life to check it out. Hopefully you like my coffee reviews and check some of these out. 
Uh, some of them can be got in the grocery store, some of them can't. Either way, I usually put, uh, maybe they're not available by you, so I put a link uh, in the description below if you'd like to check that flavor out. This one I did get in the grocery store. Some of them I buy online when I see an interesting flavor, uh, like I did with the uh, St. Uh, Patrick's Day a few weeks ago. Anyway, thank you so much again. Have a great, beautiful, wonderful day. Take care. Bye.